Okay, so after a few minutes simmering, here's how it should look like. Okay, as you can see, right? Now, uh, most of the six cubes have already been dissolved, so this should taste sweet. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll usually taste a, I'll, uh, take a bit and then taste it. If it uh, tastes good, then I'll just stop and know that it's done. Okay, so basically the Japanese curry is uh, not spicy at all, it's sweet, so you can, you can easily use it as gravy for your rice. Okay, or even drink as a soup. Okay, I usually drink everything up by the time I'm finished. Well, like I said, it's probably not very good for health. Lah. Okay, there's this rule that says that you know, whatever is nice to eat uh, is usually bad for health and vice versa. So, well, I guess for once in a while, we cook it, it's fine. Okay, let's see whether I can find the two eggs. Okay, so there's one here. Okay, so it becomes uh, chicken breast, luncheon meat, and egg. Okay, so you can see the sauce is getting uh, thicker and thicker. So the good thing about Japanese curry is that you don't need coconut milk or anything like that. Just put a cube in, okay, and stir for a while, simmer for a while, and you get a nice pot of uh, curry soup. Okay, while we wait for it to simmer a bit more, so here's the frying pan. Okay, here's basically all the stuff that has been here. Okay, so you can see, right? Why guys don't like to cook uh, is that you no, know, there is so much to wash. I can't imagine wash, washing this pan <laughs> as well as washing this uh, pot of soup when it's done, when it's curry, uh, Japanese curry when it's done. Okay, so that's why it's so easy to uh, not to cook uh, when the price of food is so cheap in Singapore. Here, I can still get a packet of fried rice at $3 a packet. Okay, so I'm guessing if the price of cooked food ever goes up, let's say beyond about, let's say, $8, or even five dollars, I guess I'll start to cook more and more often, more and more often at home. Okay, so because now my now the price of food has risen above the cost of buying all these uh, chicken breasts, as well as the opportunity cost of time, which to us is probably the more significant cost. Okay, in econs we call it implicit cost. The implicit cost of cooking is very high. The explicit cost is low. Okay, so the price of cooked food need to rise above a certain level for it to be worth cooking. Ah, so the nice, the, you can see the boiling, okay, so the curry is simmering very well here, okay, so I'll draw, pause the video here.